Now let us start the next chapter decimals. So let us see an example for example Savita and Mamata are going to the market to buy some stationary items. So then so Savita said that I have 5 rupees 75 pies. And then Mamata said that I have 10 rupees 50 pies. Then how to represent so these rupees pies into rupees. So then we can write 5 rupees 75 pies in the rupees as 5.75 rupees. So here 10 rupees 50 pies we can write 10.50 rupees. So then there are some situations where we use decimals in our day to day life. Now let us learn about the first decimal part that is tenths. So we know the place values as ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and so on. So etc. So similarly we can write tens, hundreds, thousands etc. So then first let us learn about the tens. So for example Raju has a pencil of length 8 centimeters 4 millimeters then Ravi has a pencil of length 9 centimeters 6 millimeters so then how to represent the lengths of the two pencils in the decimal number so as we know that 10 millimeters equals to 1 centimeter then 1 millimeter equals to 1 by 10 centimeters so this 1 by 10 centimeters can also be written as 0 0.1 centimeters so here 8 centimeters 4 millimeters can be written as 8 plus so 4 millimeters means 4 by 10 centimeters so these two together now centimeters so this equals to 8.4 centimeters so similarly here 9 centimeters 6 millimeters can be written as 9 plus 6 by 10 centimeters so this can be written as 9.6 centimeters so to understand more about the decimal the tenth part so let us divide, let us represent the whole by a block. So this represents the whole. If the block is divided into 10 equal parts, 1, 2, 3. So if the block is divided into 10 equal parts, then each part represents 1 tenth. So this part represents, so this block represents the whole part, whole. So then if the block is divided into 10 equal parts, then each part represents 1 tenth. So this is written as 1 by 10 or we can write 0 0.1. So if there are two parts, so then we write more 1 by 10. So this equals 0 0.1. So by adding these two, we get 0 0.2 and there are two tenths. Now here the decimal point lies between the 
whole and the tenth part. So this one is in the tenth part, tenth place, and zero in the ones place. So the decimal point lies between the whole part and the tenth part. So if you want to write seventy-five point or five point. 5.7 in the place value we write ones place then tens place so we write 5 here 7 now if you want to write 83.9 so then we take here hundreds place ones place then tens place so then we write hundreds place 8 tens place once then tens place so tens place 8 and once place 3 and tens place 9 so this becomes now 83.9 now representing decimal numbers on number line representing decimal numbers On number line now for example if you want to represent 3.4 5.3 on the number line so then first let us draw the number line so here we take 0 1 if you want to represent 3.4 and 2.8 so 1 2 3 4 5 so to represent 3.4 so after 3 between 3 and 4 let us make 10 equal parts so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so out of this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so out of these 10 equal parts, we want 4th part, so 1, 2, 3, 4, so this represents 3.4. Next, 2.8 lies between 2 and 3, so here also we make 10 equal parts between 2 and 3, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so we want 8th part. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this represents that 2.8. Now let us see the next one. Fractions as decimals. So the fraction with the denominator 10 can be written in the form of a decimal number. So let us take an example 11 by 5. So, but the denominator is not equal to 5. So, let us make the denominator. In this 11 by 5, the denominator is not equal to 10. So, the fractions with the denom denominator 10 can be written in the form of decimal number. So, if you consider the fraction 11 by 5, the denominator is not equal to 10. So, let us make the denominator 10 here. So, 5 2 times 10. So, we take 11 into 2 by 5 into 2. So this equals to 11 to the 22 by 5 to the 10. So this can be written as 2.2 in the decimal number. So as the number of zeros in the denominator is 1, so we place the decimal point 1 digit before from right side. So then if you take another example, 3 by 2. So then 3 by 2, if you write the denominator with 10, so 3 into 5 by 2 into 5. So this equals to 3 5 are 15 by 2 5 are 10. So this can be written as 1.5. Next, now decimals as fractions.
Now if any decimal number is given, so it can be written in the form of fraction. Let us convert the decimal number into the fraction. So 2.4 is there. So how to represent 2.4 in the form of a fraction? So let us write 2 plus 4 by 10. So this equals 2. So 2 can be written as 2 into 10 by 10 plus 4 by 10. So this equals to 2 times 20 by 10 plus 4 by 10. So when the denominators are equal, we can add the numerators 24 by 10. So if you write in the simplest form, we get 2 12s are 2 5s are. So we get 12 by 5. Next, 3.6. So this equals to 3.6 can be written as 3 plus 6 by 10. So 3 can be written as 3 into 10 by 10 plus 6 by 10. So 3 times are 30 by 10 plus 6 by 10. So then 30 plus 6, 36 by 10. So 2 18s are 36, 2 5s are 10. So we get 18 by 5. Now let us come back to fractions or decimals once again. So here 11 by 5 equals to we got 22 by 10. So this can be written as 22 means 20 plus 2 by 10. So this equals to 20 by 10 plus 2 by 10. So 20 by 10 means 2 plus 2 by 10 means 0.2. So we can write 2.2. So whereas 3 by 2 equals to we got 15 by 10 so this equals to 15 can be as 10 plus 5 by 10 so this equals to 10 by 10 plus 5 by 10 so yeah, 10 by 10 is 1 and 5 by 10 means 0 0.5 so we get 1.5 now let us solve few problems based on the tenths means using decimal numbers so the first one Write the following decimals in the place value table. So the first one is 19.4 and the second one is 205.9. So in the place value table, first we take hundreds. So here one by. Next, tens, ones, then tens, so this first one is 19.4, so the place value of one is Tens, so we write 1 in tens place, then there are 9 ones, so 9, then 4 tens, so we write 4. So then next one is 205.9, so 200, so we write 2 in the hundreds place, and 0 tens and 5 ones so 5 plus next 9 tenths so in the tenths place value we write 9 the next question write the following as decimals so 14.6 so we write this as 14.6 next 2 tenths and 9 tenths 2 tenths means 20 and 9 tenths so point nine so twenty point nine next one hundred and two ones so one hundred one hundred means one hundred and two ones means plus two so this equals to one hundred and two so this can be written as one hundred and two point zero because there are no tens in the given question so we write zero tens 
Now let us see the next question. Write the following as decimals. So these are the given in fractions and some are given in the expanded form. We should write them in the decimal form. So the first one is 3 plus 7 by 10. So there are 3 ones. So 3 point and 7 tenths are there. So we write 0 0.7. 3.7. Next 200 plus 60 plus 5. So this 3 can be written as 265 plus 1 by 10. So this equals to 265.1 now the next one is 4 2 by 10 so this equals to 4 plus 2 by 10 and 4 in the ones place so 4 point there are 2 tenths so we write 4.2 next 88 by 10 so this 88 by 10 can be written as 80 plus 8 by 10 so this equals to 80 by 10 plus 8 by 10. So 80 by 10 means 8 plus 8 by 10 means 0 0.8. Next 3, 3 by 5. So let us write this mixed fraction in the improper fraction. So 5, 3 is 15 plus 3, 18 by 5. To make the denominator 10, so we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2. So then we get 18 into 2 by 5 into 2. So this equals to 36 by 10. So this can be written as 30 plus 6 by 10. So 30 by 10 plus 6 by 10. So 30 by 10 means 3.6 by 10 means 0 0.6. Now the next one is. 4 1 by 2 so let us convert the mixed fraction into the improper fraction so this 2 4 8 plus 1 9 by 2 so this equals to 9 into 5 by 2 into 5 so to make the denominator 10 we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 5 so 9 5 are 45 by 2 5 are 10 so 40 plus 5 by 10 so this can be written as 40 by 10 plus 5 by 10. 0, 0 cancel, we get 4. 5 tens means 0. 0.5. Now the next question is, write the following decimals as fractions. Reduce the fractions to the lowest form. So the first one is 2.5. So this decimal number should be written in the form of a fraction. And that fraction should be written in the lowest form. So first 2 by 2.5. So this can be written as 2 plus 5 by 10. So there are 2 ones and 5 tens. So then we can write 2, 2 into 10 by 10 plus 5 by 10. So this equals to 2 times 20 by 10 plus 5 by 10. So when the denominators are equal, we can add the numerators. So 20 plus 5, 25 by 10. Now if we cancel in the 5 table, so 5 5 is 25, 5 2 is 10, so we get 5 by 2. Next 3.8, so this can be written as 3 plus 8 by 10. So this 3 can be written as 3 into 10 by 10 plus 8 by 10. So 3 10 is 30 by 10 plus 8 by 10. So 30 plus 8, 38 by 10. So 2 9s are 18, 2 19s are 38, 2 5s are 10. So we get 19 by 5. Next 6.4. So here also we write 6.4 as 6 plus 4 by 10. So this equal to 6 into 10 by 10 plus 4 by 10. So 6 tens are 60 by 10 plus 4 by 10. So 60 plus 4, 64 by 10. Now 2 3s are 6, 2 2s are 4 and 2 5s are 10. So we get 32 by 5. Now let us see the next question. Express the following as centimeters using decimals. Now the first one is 2 millimeters, second 116 millimeters and third 
4 cm to mm. So you should express on this in the centimeters using decimals. So here we know that 10 millimeters equals to 1 centimeter. So then 1 millimeter equals to 1 by 10 centimeters. So this 1 millimeter can also be written as 0 0.1 centimeters. So then 2 millimeters we can write 2 by 10 centimeters so this can be written as 0 0.2 centimeters so similarly 116 millimeters can be written as 116 by 10 centimeters so this equals to 100 plus 10 plus 6 by 10 centimeters so this equals to 110 or we can write 100 by 10 plus 10 by 10 plus 6 by 10 centimeters so this equals to 0 0 cancel so 10 plus 1 plus 6 by 10 centimeters so we can write 11.6 centimeters next 4 centimeters 2 millimeters so this can be written as 4 centimeters so 4 plus 2 by 10 centimeters so this equals to 4.2 centimeters now let us see the next question between which two whole numbers on the number line are the given numbers lie which of these whole numbers is near nearer to the number so let us find 0 0.8 lies between which two whole numbers so it lies between 0 and 1 so 0 0.8 lies between 0 and 1 and 0 0.8 is nearer to 1 because so out of 10 equal parts so, so there are 8 equal parts so one if you make 10 equal parts between 0 and 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this 8 part is nearer to 1 next 5.1 lies between 5 and 6 so we can write 5.1 lies between 5 and 6 and here 5.1 is nearer to 5 next 4.9 4.9 lies between 4 and 5 and 4.9 is nearer to 5 now let us see the next question. Write the decimal number represented by the points A, B, C, D on the given number line. So let us draw the number line. So on this number line, we take 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now let us make equal parts between each two consecutive numbers. 10 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let us represent this A. Now again here we will make ten equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this part is. So this point is B. So we also will make ten equal parts. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is C, and here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is D. Now, what is the point here? What does the point here represent on the number line? So this is. Zero point one two three four five six seven. So this is zero point seven. Next B represents one point one two three. So B represents one point three. Next C represents that. So after two, so one two three four five six. So C is two point six. Next D, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is three point eight. So D is three point eight. Now the next question. Show the following numbers. On the number line. So first one is one point nine, and second one is two point five. So to represent one point nine on the number line, so we take the number line starting from zero. We take one, two, three. So between one and two, we will make ten equal parts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we want ninth part. So that is one point nine. So this represents one point nine. Next, two point five. So on the number line, we take zero, one, two. Three, then four. So we have to represent two point five. So let us make ten equal parts between two and three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we want fifth part. One, two, three, four, five. So this represents that two point five. Now the next question is. The length of Ramesh notebook is nine centimeters five millimeters. What will be its length in centimeters? So length of notebook. Equals to nine centimeters five millimeters. So this can be written as nine centimeters plus five by ten centimeters as. One millimeter equals to one by ten centimeters. So then this can be written as nine plus five by ten centimeters. So we can write nine point five centimeters. Next, let us learn about the hundreds. Now, for example, the Karan was measuring the length of his room. So he found that the length of his room was five meters twenty-five centimeters. Then, how to represent five meters twenty-five centimeters in the decimal form? Now, let us divide the block into hundred equal parts. So then. Each part 
or we can take even a square so if the square is divided into 10 equal parts then each part represents 1 by 10 so 1 out of 10 so again if it is divided into 10 parts vertically so then each part represents so this each part is 1 out of 10 so this part represents now 1 by 100 so as we know that 1 meter equals to 100 centimeters or 100 centimeters equals to 1 meter so then 1 centimeter equals to 1 by 100 meters so similarly 25 centimeters means 25 by 100 meters so this can be written as 0 0.25 meters so then 5 meters 25 centimeters can be written as 5.25 meters in the decimal form so here 1 centimeter out of 100 centimeters so this 1 centimeter equals to 1 by 100 meters so then this 1 centimeter out of 100 centimeters means 1 hundredth of meter so then we can write 2 centimeters equals to 2 by 100 meters or this can be written as 0 0.01 meters or here 0 0.02 meters so then 1 out of 100 parts so this is 1 out of 100 equal parts so that is 1 centimeter so out of 100 centimeters so we can write 1 out of 100 so 1 by 100 meters now let us draw the place value table so hundreds tens ones tens then hundreds so 5 3 2 4 6 so this number hundreds place value is 5 tens place value is 3 ones place value is 2 and tenths place value is 4 hundreds place value is 6 so we write this number as 532.46 so if you take 20468, so then we can write 204.68. So yeah, the 4 is in the tenth place and 6 is in the hundredth place. In the second decimal number, 6 is in the tenth place and 8 is in the hundredth place. Now let us take the square which is divided into hundred parts. So here yeah, we will take shaded part or shaded portion and here fraction and you take the decimal so if for example if three parts or four parts are shaded so then shaded parts four so 4 out of 100 parts are shaded so this can be written in the decimal form as 0.04 so if for example 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 3 are 18 if 18 parts are shaded so we write 18 by 100 now this can be written in the decimal form as 0.18 so here 4 out of 100 parts here 18 out of 100 parts so then 4 out of 100 can be written as 0 0.04 and 18 out of 100 is written as 0 0.18 now let us see the questions now based on the hundreds and thousands place values so the first question write the numbers given in the following place value table in the decimal form now let us draw the place value table
so first we will take hundreds then tens ones tens one by ten hundreds so this is one by hundred and thousands so one by thousand if a block is divided into thousand equal parts then each part is called one out of thousand so then in the tens place value hundreds place value zero tens two ones place five tens place nine and hundreds place three thousands place four and the second number hundreds place five tens place three ones place eight tens place zero hundreds place four and thousands plus six and the third number hundreds place is eight tens place four ones place zero tens place five hundreds place nine and thousands place two then let us represent these numbers using the decimal so hundreds place zero the first number we are taking hundreds place is hundreds place is zero so we take tens place two and ones place five then in next immediately tens place so the decimal point lies between ones place and tens place so we write point nine hundreds plus three and thousands plus four now the second number so hundreds plus five three eight five hundred and thirty eight point so tens plus zero hundreds plus four thousands plus six and the third number so hundreds plus eight forty eight hundred and forty point the tens plus five and hundreds plus nine and thousands plus two now let us see the next question write the following numbers in the place value table So the first one is 14.28 and third one is 256.749. So the place where well, the first number 14.28, 14.28 and the second number 256. Point seven four nine. So the place value of one is ten. So we write in the tens place one and the ones place four. Then tens place is two. So we write tens place means here two and the hundreds place eight. Next second number two hundred fifty six point seven four nine. So two is in the hundreds place. So we write two in the Hundreds place, five in the tens place, and six in the ones place. Then seven in the tens place, so we write seven. Four in the hundreds place, four, and nine in the thousands place. Now let us solve the next question. So write the following as decimals.
Now, 20 plus 9, 29. And 4 in the tenth place, so we write 0.4 and 100 in the and 1 is in the hundredths place, so we write 1. So 29.41. Now the next one, 23, 2 in the tenth place, so 0.2. The decimal point lies between 1's place and 10th place. And there is no hundredths place, so we write 0 in place of hundredths place. And 6 in the thousandths place, we write 6. Next, 700 plus 20 plus 5, 725. And there is no tenth place, so tenth place is missing. So point zero, and the hundredth place is nine. So 725.09. Next, write the following decimals. in words now the first one is 108.56 so one is in the hundreds place 0 in the tens place 8 in the ones place 5 in the tens place 6 in the hundreds place so this can this can be written in the words as 100 and 8 so 108 point Five, six. Now the next one is ten point zero seven. So ten point zero seven. The next one is five point zero zero eight. Now let us see the next question. Between which two numbers in tenth place on the number line does each of the given number lie? Now the tenth place of the zero number, decimal number 0 0.06 is 0 0.0. So 0, 0.0 lies between 0 and 0 0.1. Now the next one is 0 0.45 so the tenth place is 4 so then 0 0.4 lies between 0 0.4 and 0 0.5 the next one is 0 0.19 so here yeah, the tenth place is 1 so then 0 0.1 lies between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 now the next question write the following decimals write the following decimals as fractions in lowest Form. So the first one is 0 0.60. So this can be written as it has tenths place and hundredths place. So it can be written as 60 by 100. So 0 0 cancel and 2 3 are 6, 2 5 are 10. So we get 3 by 5 as the fraction. And the next one is 0 0.75. So this can be written as 75 by 100. So we can cancel in 25 table. 25 3 are 75. 25 4 are 100 so we get 3 by 4 next 0 0.125 so this can be written as 125 by 1000 as it has tens hundreds and also thousands place so then 25 5 are 125 25 4 are 100 0 and 5 are 5 5 8 are 40 so we get 1 by 8 now let us see how to compare two decimal numbers. So let us learn the comparing decimal numbers.
Now for example 7.35 and 8.94 So if two decimal numbers are given so first we have to compare the whole number part whole part So if you observe the whole parts of the first decimal 7.35 that is 7 and the second second decimal 8.94 so that is 8 so if you observe the whole parts 8 is greater so we can say that 8.94 is greater now if all number parts are equal means if all parts are equal then we have to check the tens parts if they are also equal then we have to check the hundreds parts so if the two decimals are given as 7.85 and 7.64 so if the whole number parts are equal then let us compare the tenths parts so then tenths part the first decimal has 8 and the second decimal has 6 so we can say that 8 is greater than 6 so we can say that 7.85 is greater than 7.64 so if 10 parts are also equal then we have to check the hundreds parts now let us take another example 5.986 5.997 so here the whole parts are equal tens parts are also equal then let us compare the hundreds parts so here 9 is greater than 8 so we can say that 5.997 is greater than 5.986 now let us solve the question means comparing the decimal numbers so the first one uh, which is greater so 0 0.07 or 0 0.02 so if you compare the decimal numbers and the first whole numbers so the whole parts are equal then let us compare the tens parts so they are also equal then the hundreds parts 7 and 2 so here 7 is greater than 2 so 0 0.07 is greater than 0 0.02 so we can write that 0 0.07 is greater the next one 1.23 or 1.20 so 1.23 or 1.20 so 1.2 can be written as 1.20 so then whole parts are equal and the tens parts are also equal then hundreds parts hundreds part 3 and 0 so your 3 is greater than 0 so we can write 1.23 is greater than 1.2 so therefore 1.23 is greater next 0 0.099 or 0 0.19 so let us compare the whole number parts whole part 0 0 equal and tenth parts is 0 here tenth part is 1 so then 1 is greater than 0 so 0 0.19 is greater than 0 0.099 so therefore 0 0.19 is greater the next 5.64 or 5.603 the whole number parts whole parts are equal then tens parts 6 6 equal then hundreds parts 4 and here 0 so 4 is greater than 0 so therefore 5.64 is greater than 5.603 so therefore 5.64 is greater now the next one is 1.431 or 1.490 so the whole number parts 1 1 equal and the tens part 4 and 4 also equal then hundred part 3 and 9 so here 9 is greater than 3 so therefore 1.490 is greater than 1.431 therefore 
is greater. Now let us see the next topic using decimals. We can use the decimals in many ways in our day to day life. For example, to represent money, to represent length and to represent weight, we use the decimals. So let us see how to use the decimals in representing money. So here we know that 1 rupee equals to 100 paise. So then 5 rupees equals to 500 paise and 1 paise equal to 1 by 100 rupee so to represent 235 pies so we write 235 by 100 rupees so this is same as 2.35 rupees so while representing the pies in terms of rupees we use the decimal point here now Similarly, we can use the decimals while representing the length. So we know that 1 meter equals to 100 centimeters or 100 centimeters equals to 1 meter. So then 1 centimeter equals to 1 by 100 meters or this can be written as 0.01 meters so then 5 centimeters equals to 0 0.05 meters then 156 centimeters equals to 100 centimeters plus 56 centimeters so 100 centimeters means 1 meter 56 centimeters so this can be written as 1.56 meters next while representing the weight also we can use the decimal point so we know that 1 kilogram equals to 1000 grams or 1000 grams equal to 1 kilogram so 1 kilogram equals to 1000 grams or 1000 grams equals to 1 kilogram. So then 1 gram equals to 1 by 1000 kilograms. So 1 gram can be written as 0 0.001 kilograms. So then 7 grams equal to 0 0.007 kilograms so then 750 or 2750 grams equals to 2000 grams plus 750 grams so 2000 grams can be written as 2 kilograms and 750 grams so this is written as 2.750 kilograms so when we represent the grams in kilograms then we use the decimals so even when we represent centimeter in terms of meter so here also we use the decimals and while representing the money so when we convert the pies into rupees so here also we use the decimal point now let us solve few problems based on the using decimal numbers in our day to day life situations so while representing the length weight and also money so first express as rupees using decimals so the first one 5 pies is given this should be expressed in terms of rupees so we know that 1 rupee equal to 100 pies or 1 pies equals to 
1 by 100 rupees or we can write now this equals to 0 0.01 so then 5 pi is equals to 5 by 100 so this equals to 0 0.05 next 75 pi so 1 pi equals to 1 by 100 rupees then 75 pi 75 by 100 rupees so this can be written as 0 0.75 now the next one is 50 rupees 90 pi so 50 rupees means 50 into 100 plus 90 pies. So this equals to 50 into 100, 5000 plus 90 pies. So this equal to 5090 pies. Now if you convert into rupees, 5090 by 100 so this equals to 50.90 rupees next question express as meters using decimals here the centimeters are given you should convert into meters so we know that 1 meter equals to 100 centimeters so 1 centimeter equals to 1 by 100 meters then 15 centimeters equals to 15 by 100 meters so this equals to 0 0.15 meters next 419 centimeters so here also 1 centimeter equals to 1 by 100 meters then 419 centimeters equals to 419 by 100 meters so this equals to 4.19 meters next 2 meters 45 centimeters so 2 meters means 2 into 100 centimeters plus 45 centimeters now this equals to 200 plus 45 centimeters so this equals to 200 plus 45 245 centimeters so this equals to 245 by 100 meters so this is same as 2.45 meters now let us see the next question express as uh, centimeters using decimals so first one is 5 millimeters so then 10 millimeter equal to 1 centimeter so then 1 millimeter equals to 1 by 10 centimeter so then 5 millimeters equals to 5 by 10 centimeters so this equals to 0 0.5 centimeters the next 164 millimeters so here also 1 millimeter equals to 1 by 10 centimeters so 164 millimeters equals to 164 by 10 centimeters so this equals to 16.4 centimeters. And the next one is 9 centimeters, 8 millimeters should be expressed in the centimeters using decimals. So 9 centimeters means 9 into 10 millimeters plus 8 millimeters. So this equals to 9 tens are 90 plus 8 millimeters so this equals to 98 millimeters so 98 millimeters if you write in the centimeters so we write 90 plus 90 so 90 millimeter means 
नाइन सेंटीमीटर पॉइंट एट सो नाइन पॉइंट एट सेंटीमीटर्स नेक्स्ट एक्सप्रेस एज किलोमीटर्स यूजिंग डेसिमल्स ना दीज टू यू हैव टू एक्सप्रेस इन द किलोमीटर्स यूजिंग डेसिमल्स सो वी नो दैट थाउजेंड मीटर्स equals to 1 kilometer so then 1 meter equals to 1 by 1000 kilometers so then 8888 meters equals to 8888 by 1000 kilometers so this equals to 8.888 kilometers now the next one is 70 kilometers 5 meters so 70 kilometer means 70 into 1000 meters plus 5 meters so this equals to 70 into 1000 70000 meters Plus five meters, so this equals to seventy thousand five meters. If we convert this into the kilometers, then we get seventy thousand five by thousand kilometers. So we get seventy point zero zero five kilometers. Now let us see the next question. Express as kilograms using decimals. So first one is two grams. So we have to convert the grass grams into kilograms. So we know that one thousand grams equals to one kilogram. Then one gram equals to one by thousand kilograms. So then two grams equals to Two by thousand kilograms. So this can be written as zero point zero zero two kilograms. Now the next one is three thousand seven hundred fifty grams. So here also we can write one gram equals to one by thousand kilograms. So then three thousand seven hundred fifty grams equals to. Three thousand seven hundred fifty by thousand kilograms. So this equals to three point seven five zero kilograms. Next, twenty six kilograms fifty grams. So twenty six kilograms means twenty six into thousand grams plus fifty. Grams, so this equals to twenty six thousand plus fifty grams. So twenty six thousand plus fifty is twenty six thousand fifty grams. Now, if you convert into kilograms, so we get twenty six thousand fifty by thousand kilograms. So this equals to twenty six point zero five zero. Kilograms. Now let us see the next topic: addition of numbers with decimals. Addition of numbers with decimals. Now, if you want to add any two numbers with decimals and any two or more numbers with decimals. So, for example, at 7.35, 0.76, and 5.97. So, when we add three decimal numbers, so then we write one decimal number one below the other, so that so all the place values will come one below the other. So, 7.35. Yes, yeah, seven in the ones place, three in the tenths place, and five in the hundredths place. 
So then even the second decimal number also we write in the same manner. So 0 should come in the 1's place, 0, point, 7 in the 10's place and 6 in the 100's place. And even 5.97 should, should be written in the same way, 5.97. So then we are these numbers as we are the whole numbers. Now 5 plus 6, 11, 11 plus 7, 18. So 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 7, 11, 11 plus 9, 20. Then we keep the decimal point here. Now 2 plus 7, 9, 9 plus 5, 14. So this is 14.08. Now let us add few decimal numbers. So find the sum in each of the following. First one is 0 0.007 plus 8.5 plus 30.08. So first we take 0 0.007, then we take 8.5. So 8 should come in the ones place, 8.5, then 30.08. So 30 means 3 in the tens place, so 3, 0, 30.08. So the other places we can take 0, 0, here also 0. So then we get 7 plus 0, 7. 0 plus 8, 8. 0 plus 5, 5. Point 0 plus 8, 8. And 3. 38.587. The next one is 27.076 plus 9.005 plus 3.7. So here also there are 3 decimal numbers to be added. So first we will take the first number 27.076. Now we take 9.005. So 9 should come in the ones place. So just below 7. 9.005. Then 3.7. So 3.7. The other two places can be 0 here. Now 6 plus 5, 11, 1 plus 7, 8, 0 plus 7, 7, 7 plus 9, 16, plus 3, 19, and 1 plus 2, 3. So the sum is 39.781. The next one is 280.69 plus 25.2 plus 38. So first let us take the first number, 280. 0.69 then 25.2 so 25.2 we can write 0 and 38 so we can write 38.00 so 9 plus 0 9 6 plus 2 8 5 plus 8 13 1 plus 8 9 plus 2 11 plus 3 14 and 1 plus 2 3 so the sum is 343.89. Now let us see some word problems means verbal problems based on the addition of the decimal numbers. Now the first question, Rashid spent 35 rupees 75 pies means 35.75 rupees for maths book and 32 rupees 60 pies for science book. So then we have to find the total amount spent by Rashid. So the money spent for math book equals to 35.75 rupees. And the money spent for Science book equals to thirty two point six zero. So by adding these two values, we get the total money spent by Rashid. So then we get total money. Spent by Rashid. 
so 5 plus 0 5 7 plus 6 13 point here 1 plus 5 6 plus 2 8 and 3 plus 3 6 so the total amount spent by Rashid is 68 rupees 35 pies means rupees 68.35 now the next question Sunita travel 15 km 268 meters by bus 7 km 7 meter by car and 500 meters on foot so in order to reach her school how far is her school from her residence so while going to the school she travel some distance by bus some distance by car and some distance by on foot then we have to find out how far is the school from her residence so the distance travel by bus equals to 268 15 kilometers 268 meters so I'm writing kilometers and meters separately so then 15 kilometers and 268 meters then distance traveled by car equals to 7 kilometers 7 meters so 7 kilometer here and 7 meters means 0 0 7 meters and 500 meters on foot now distance travel on foot equals to 500 meters so 0 kilometers then 500 meters now by adding these three values we get the total distance traveled by her so 8 plus 7 15 1 6 plus 1 7 and 2 plus 5 7 then 15 plus 7 22 so the total distance travel is 22 kilometers and 775 meters so therefore her residence is Or her school is we can write twenty two kilometers seven hundred and seventy five meters away from her residence. Now the next question Ravi purchased five kilograms four hundred grams rice. 2 kilograms 20 grams sugar and 10 kilograms 850 grams flour then we have to find the total weight of purchases so then first weight of rice equals to 5 kg Four hundred grams. So this can be written as five point four zero zero kilograms. Then weight of sugar equals to two kilograms twenty grams. So this equals to 2.020 kilograms now weight of flour equals to 
equals to 10 kilograms 850 grams equals to 10.850 kilograms so by adding these three values we get the total weight of purchase So total weight of purchases equals to 0 plus 0, 0, 2 plus 5, 7, 4 plus 8, 12, 1. So 1 plus 5, 6 plus 2, 8, 10. So 10.270 kilograms or we can write 18 kilograms, 270 grams. Now let us see the subtraction of decimal numbers. Now, how we have added the two decimal numbers? So, in the same way, we can subtract one decimal number from another decimal number by writing the two decimal numbers one below the other so that the place values should come one below the other. So, let us do an example. Subtract 3.75 from 8.92. So then first we have to write the bigger number so 8.92 so below the bigger number we write the smaller number 3.75 and here we should write the place values one below the other so this is ones place value and tenths and this is hundreds so then carry 10 10 plus 2 12 minus 5 7 and 8 will be here so 8 minus 7 1 point 8 minus 3 5 now subtract 2 kilometer 850 meters from 5 kilometer 250 meters so first you write the bigger number 5 kilometer so kilometer and meter we write separately so 5 kilometer 250 meters and then 2 kilometer 850 meters so we cannot subtract 850 meters from 250 meters so we carry one kilometer then it becomes so 1250 meters so 0 5 minus 5 0 and 4 kilometers will be here so 12 minus 8 4 so 4 minus 2 2 now this is 2 kilometers 400 meters now let us solve few problems based on the subtraction of decimal numbers. So subtract 18 rupees 25 pies from 20 rupees 75 pies. So here first we write 20 rupees 75 pies so means rupees 20.75. So 18.25. So when you subtract, so 5 minus 5 0. 7 minus 2 5 and carry 10 here 1 will be left here so 10 minus 8 2 and 1 minus 1 0 so it is 2 rupees 50 pies rupees 2.50 now subtract 2.051 kilometers from 5.206 kilometers so here also we write the bigger number 5.2 206 kilometers up and we write the smaller number 2.051 
kilometers so 6 minus 1 5 carry 10 here 1 10 minus 5 5 so 1.5 minus 2 3 so it is 3.155 kilometers so it is 3 kilometers 155 meters now next one subtract 0 0.314 kilograms from 2.107 kilograms so first you write the larger number 2.107 kilograms then we write the smaller number 0 0.314 kilograms seven minus four three carry ten here zero so ten minus one nine and carry ten minus three seven so one it is one point seven nine three kilograms now let us solve the next question find the value of nine point seven five six minus six point two eight so first we will write 9.756 minus 6.280 so then we get 6 minus 0 6 so carry 10 plus 5 15 15 minus 8 7 we have 6 will be left here 6 minus 2 4 point 9 minus 6 3 so the difference is 3.476 Next 11.6 minus 9.847. So 11.600, then 9.847. So we will carry 10 here. So 9 will be here and here 5. Now 10 minus 7, 3. 9 minus 4, 5. And 5 minus 8 we can subtract so we will carry 10 plus 5 15 15 minus 8 7 so a 0 will be left 10 minus 9 1 so 1.753 is the difference of these two decimal numbers now let us solve few word problems based on the subtraction of decimal numbers so Rani had 18 rupees 50 pies she bought one ice cream for 11 rupees 75 pies how much money does she have now? So the total money total amount of money equals to 18 rupees 15 pies so 18.50 rupees and money spent for ice cream equals to 11 rupees 75 pies so 11.75 rupees so your carry 10 10 minus 5 5 4 is there then carry 10 again so 14 minus 7 7 7 minus 1 6 so 1 minus 1 0 so the money that she has now equals to 6 rupees 75 pies so we can write money that She has now equals to 6 rupees 75 pies. Now the next question is Namita travels 20 km 15 meters every day. Out of this she travels 10 km 200 meters by bus and the rest by auto. How much distance does she travel by auto? Now the total distance traveled by Namita is 20 km 15 meters. 
टोटल डिस्टेंस ट्रैवल इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर्स फिफ्टी मीटर्स सो दिस इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी पॉइंट जीरो फाइव जीरो किलोमीटर्स ना द डिस्टेंस ट्रैवल बाय बस equals to 10 kilometers 200 meters so 10 kilometers 200 meters equals to 10.200 kilometers now the rest of the distance traveled by auto so distance Travel by auto equals to zero five minus zero five and carry ten nine here one will be left so ten minus two eight point here nine nine point eight five zero kilometers so this is the rest of the distance which is travelled by auto now the next problem. Akash bought vegetables weighing 10 kilograms. So out of this 10 kilograms, 3 kilogram 500 grams is onions, 2 kilogram 75 grams is tomatoes, and the rest is potatoes. So what is the weight of the potatoes? So let us add the weight of these two kilo, these two vegetables, onions and tomatoes. So this sum should be subtracted from the total weight of the vegetables 10 kilograms then we get the weight of the potatoes so first weight of onions equals to 3 kilograms 500 grams so 3.500 grams equals to next weight of tomatoes two kilogram seventy five so two point zero seven five so two kilogram seventy five grams so then we get the total weight of two Vegetables. Weight of both vegetables. So zero plus five, five. Zero plus seven, seven. Five plus zero, five. Point three plus two, five. Now the total weight of the vegetables is. 10 kilograms so total weight of vegetables so 10 kilograms means 10.000 grams now the weight of both vegetables weight of onions and tomatoes equal to 5 kilograms 575 grams so we write 5 kilograms 575 grams so if you subtract the weight of these both vegetables from the total weight of All the vegetables. Then we get the weight of potatoes.
carry 10 here you are 9 9 9 here 0 so 10 minus 5 5 9 minus 7 2 9 minus 5 4 point 9 minus 5 4 so 4 kilograms 425 grams so that is the weight of potatoes so the weight of potatoes is Four point four two five kilograms, or we can write four kilograms four hundred twenty five grams.